So I'm Patrick Pfeiffer. Um, I've been the sort of program developer and coordinator for NAU Composting. The whole process begins pretty much with the folks in dining, um, the back of house prep chefs. They separate it as they go through their daily task of making their food. Um, they've got a specific list of what they can and can't compost. All that material goes into one bin, which is picked up directly by our compost technicians who are two student workers driving a pickup truck, or from the smaller satellite locations. Uh, it's picked up by students riding bicycles, pulling trailers with the Velo Composting Program and materials that the, that the Velo composting students uh, pick up goes to the transfer station located at the Union. So either way, the compost techs in the pickup truck get those materials. They haul it down to our compost site, which is located at grounds south down by the solar panels. At that location, they dump it into the piles off the back of our pickup truck, uh, mix in the proper amount of horse manure, uh, wood chips, pine needles, and some other carbon-based materials to get into a good blend. Once a week or so, uh, Howard, who's one of the equipment operators with Grounds, will come in with the front end loader and do a really thorough mixing of that material to get it all uh, consistently homogenous mixture going on. And at that point, we add a little bit of water, and from there, it sits for about three, maybe four months, gets turned two or three times in between that, run through a screen, and it goes from, from food waste to soil in just that time. The best method that we found for that is to, to take the temperature of every pile every day that we're dropping off materials, and you track the temperature profile as the compost pile goes through its life cycle, and that's your indicator for when to turn the pile. And that's what really allows you to reduce the amount of turning, the amount of energy input, and the amount of water input. Our piles are usually around 10 to 12 cubic yards of material. That ends up being a, a pile that's maybe five to six feet tall by 13 feet in diameter. We'll use maybe 300 gallons to 400 gallons of water per 12 cubic yards of finished compost. Not a whole lot of water by the industry standard. Um, that's about a twelfth of what some municipal composting programs are doing. So I feel like that's a pretty big success on our part. Um, and it's all reclaimed water as well, so rather than using well water or groundwater straight out of the aquifers, it's all reclaimed. We're picking up food waste from the Flagstaff Medical Center, the hospital in town, as well as uh, Mother Road Brewery, which is, is, I guess, another part that's unique about the compost program. There's not a lot of university compost programs that are picking up from breweries. And they put out a lot of, a lot of waste in the form of this grain that turns out to make a pretty perfect uh, compost materials. Um, had tons of calls from other local businesses that would love us to pick up their compost as we continue expanding. <laughs>